Tim Webster. Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to make your show real to be the next big Blue Peter presenter. Challenge accepted. First stop, St Mary's College in Wirral. Now I'm here to meet a very talented student. He's only 17 years old, but already he's on his way to becoming a very successful fashion designer. So here I am with the man himself, Patrick McDowell. Nice to meet you, Patrick. And we are in one of the studios that Patrick likes to use. So what I wanted to ask you was, where do you find your inspiration for your pieces? I mean, why do you make fashion and why not something else? Yeah, I think with fashion, I just find it really interesting that you can actually wear the pieces. So how do you actually make the clothes? Because I would have thought that was a little bit tricky. Yeah, I think that's a big question that everyone asks is, how do you actually make these things? Because they think that coming up with the ideas and the designing part of it is really easy, but it's actually the other way around. I find it really kind of difficult to sit down and really come up with the design part of it. Who would be your dream person to dress? I think if I could dress anyone, it'd have to be Kate Middleton because <gasps> yeah. I just really love her style and the real like classiness of it. And I just think she's really simple, yeah. And would you dress the baby as well? I think I might have to. <laughs> have them both in Patrick McDowell. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Isn't it great that people like Patrick can use their creativity and really work hard to make their ideas into something that everybody can see and enjoy? And it doesn't just have to be fashion. It could be dance, drama, music, art. Now that gives me an idea. I'm here at Crosby Beach in Liverpool and it is absolutely freezing but I'm not here to talk about the weather. No, there's something a little more interesting going on here. Isn't that right? Set in the sand are 100 life-size cast iron sculptures. They form a piece of art by British artist Anthony Gormley who made a mould of his own body to make the statues. And he has also inspired others to create their own art, like this local dance company who used the statues in a video. So from Anthony Gormley's unique creation to Patrick McDowell's fashion and the local dance company's video, we can really see how people are using their creativity to scale new heights. Just like me, I am going to climb this. Wish me luck! Thorstone in Thurstiston, named because people believe the Vikings used to worship their god Thor from here. Now I just need to figure out a way to get down. So hopefully I've shown you a little bit of what I can do, but now you want to know why I really want to be a Blue Peter presenter. To put it quite simply, presenting and performing is all I've ever wanted to do and I love working with kids. I find it really rewarding. I was a leader on the Edmund Rice summer camps for underprivileged children in Merseyside for years, and I've been teaching dance and drama to young people since I was 16, and I would really appreciate the opportunity to be able to inspire young minds. I'm also an actress, singer, dancer. I'm really creative. I love a challenge, so please let me show you what I can do. Thanks for watching. See you soon.